So I'm in the 2017 code and I am in the example section, um, informative NXD. And this chart used to be in, in the uh, 310.15 or 16 section. And what this chart is, it's um, the size wire required for a dwelling service panel. In other words, your breaker box, the wire feeding your breaker box. Um, this chart is, you know, based upon with no adjustment factors. And if it's a, you know, a residential dwelling, you'd be feeding your panel with a three wire uh, service entrance cable more than likely which would be aluminum and um, so there would be no adjustment factors as far as more than three current carrying conductors um, for the temperature adjustment factor that's the million dollar question right there um, the NEC really doesn't give a clear-cut definition on how to determine ambient temperature. Um, if you re really read into it, a lot of people just take like the average temperature. Because you got to figure if you got a service entrance cable and it is outside, you know, it's run out, ran, ran outside the house to the service point and it's exposed you know to the sunlight during the summer it's hot and then you know it's outside in the winter if you live in like the northeast say for instance it's going to get cold so the ambient temperatures that the correction factor is jumping all over the place the nec never really gives you a clear-cut definition on what to do in that example this is the nec is you know written with fire in mind safety and fire um i would have to say that they would take the adjustment factors off of when it's hot outside because that's what they're looking for heat but it would only change if the ambient temperature is uh, greater than 86 degrees and you know for most of the year except you know maybe a few weeks in the summer that's you wouldn't really have to worry about that so if you got a panel what this is saying is that if you got a panel that's 100 amps if you're pulling copper wire you need four wire that's your hot your, your i mean your two hots you know your black and your red wire and your neutral because it's going to come as a cable assembly and chances are it's going to all be the same. Um, if that was aluminum service entrance cable, when I, when I said this I was talking about service entrance cable. Same with this, service entrance cable, that would be number two. So you go down this chart, a common uh, service most people upgrade to is 200 amp. So if you have an electrician putting in a 200 amp panel for you and you live in an area you know where i don't know it's the ambient temperature is close to 86 it doesn't get too much hotter than that maybe a few days a few weeks of the year you should have a two watt copper ran to it or four watt 400 amp you got 400 KC mil copper to it or 600 KC mil ran to it. So, saw this chart, figured I'd share. Thanks for watching.